Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I'm wearing the bee today because the bees are about miracles and your miracle is coming, communication is coming, magic is coming into your connection and things are being restored now beautiful bonds happening, changes occurring and magic flowing in and the angels are very clear about this today, especially as we move forward into the energy on Tuesday, we've got the 22nd of the 2nd, 2022, there's power energy around, now we got the message the other day about the full moon, the full moon making you super attractive to your twin, because you're dreaming of each other, there's a lot of healing happening in dreams, and you are being guided back together by the universe which always has your back, so the bee, which you may see today in many ways, is a great symbol of your miracle to hold on and to keep moving forward, and in the Divine Masculine reading today, he's heading for the future, he's preparing for the future, when I recorded that video, when I shut the video down and uploaded it to YouTube, Neil Diamond's song, Headed for the Future, was just stuck in my head. And that's the song they're giving me today, that you are heading for your future and your miracle is coming in. So today what we're going to do is bring in the Tarot of the Sacred Feminine. Now I am actually giving one of these decks away right now to members. So if you are a member of the Angel Family or the Angel Warrior level, you have access to that giveaway. I've got one to give away. I'm going to be announcing the winner next Wednesday in the members video. But I'm going to use this powerful deck today. It's a great deck to use intuitively and to really feel the energy coming from the divine. And I'm going to bring in one of my decks, the Almost Tarot. I haven't used this for a while and I love this deck. It's really powerful. But the energy is, since the full moon and as we move towards the 22nd on Tuesday, there's going to be such power flowing in. You're already going to be feeling this. And things are going to be blowing up around that date. That means your phone could blow up with messages. Your phone, you know, it could break, it could blow up with the power. But there's going to be a lot of electricity and vibrancy and power around. Things are blowing up. And that's the word they're giving me. That could be blow ups in relationships. So it could be karmic arguments you know if they are in a karmic relationship there could be a big argument that comes in that makes things blow up and change there's going to be some shifts you know things blowing up things changing things moving around and that's why there's been all this stormy energy around and one of our soul sisters as she sent me this message okay and we've had storms you know on wednesday the weather was very bad and they've given bad weather out again for Saturday here in the UK and Ez sent me a message and I screenshot it because she said clearing the way the real heavy storms right now in England and the Netherlands Dudley now Liz these are both called twin storms and we've got Dudley and Eunice these storms these are both called twin storms and are very rare did you realize that well, I know something's powerful going on, but I didn't know they were twin storms. So again, huge sign of change, movement coming together. Storms bring clarity in. You know, they clear the air, they clear the way. I think it's a huge sign now that these twin, so twin storms are symbolizing the divine masculine and the divine feminine energies, feeling each other more closely than ever. Also, first Dudley, the masculine, followed by Eunice, the feminine, just like the energies right now. Divine feminine is feeling everything of the divine masculines, and I thought I'd share this with you. What a powerful message. And that's absolutely what's going on. Storms are bringing in change and movement, the winds of change. So let's tap in and see what's happening there. And this energy coming in on Tuesday is very powerful. I may even do a live stream where we look in detail at what's going on. So I'm really excited about that. So I'll keep you posted those we move forward. So what's the energy, please, angels, around the journey today? The energy, please, around the twin flame journey. Wow taking them out, there we go, the energy around the divine feminines today, the energy around the divine feminines, 
and the energy around the divine masculine what do we need to know the energy around the divine masculine thank you angels one card for the masculine the thing i oh no two cards one off the top the thing i love about this particular deck as well is it's got the mirrored energy and the anchor is a symbol of protection and it's this beautiful yellow that again i've been kind of guided to today powerful change sign about easter you know we think about yellow we think about the sun we think about daffodil sunflowers you know yellow energy change movement so what do we need to know for the journey jumping out the deck here here we go i'm taking the ones that i'm guided to a few off the top here these are coming off the energy of the divine feminine today there it is and the energy of the divine masculine the energy of the masculine wow okay let's do this then so we're going to start with the journey then so let's start with the divine feminine or the sacred feminine tarot well first of all i mean this is beautiful because we've got the world card the world is in your hands now this is mirrored energy time is fluid time is illusion it's man-made so it rolls into one that's why every video you watch can be timeless you know you find it when you meant to and yesterday we had the world card in this position for the journey and now we have the world card again because it's showing you everything's falling into place and you've got a mother with a baby here in the middle so this is about nurturing the connection nurturing the love what you nurture now you're going to reap rewards for later and you are divinely protected and safe so this is also your journey being protected and all the signs of the zodiac are in this bubble here or in this circle of light and this is showing you that you are protected whatever sign you are whatever's happening right now with your journey it's divinely protected and the world is in your hands i mean this is powerful the worst is behind you you can see there what she's doing she's creating the world she's creating magic she's releasing burdens and struggle and stress and she's standing up for what she believes in and that's what i'm feeling we've got the beautiful green energy there of archangel raphael bringing in a healing and i'm feeling this yellowy gold energy here is archangel gabriel helping the divine feminine to stay strong and make changes and stand up for what she believes in and who she is so the world is in your hands so i'm really feeling this right now is the divine feminine power the divine feminine showing the world who you truly are being authentic being you shining your light and you know survival you survive you surrender you survive you thrive you get through it you can handle it so it's also a message for you to not give up and that great things are coming in so you won't just be surviving you're going to be thriving they're showing me this card again a bit like in the video Katy perry rise you know that warrior energy coming in you are a warrior the world is in your hands you're creating your reality and we are all creators of our reality our thoughts become things our words have power if we think it and they give me fear we can achieve it if we we what we think about we bring about so also watch your thoughts watch what you say brings up fear you know we have fearful thoughts we learn to release them and let them go and that's the shadow side and that's what i'm seeing in this energy here we all deal with our shadows we all deal with our shadow side and we can you know they can take us over sometimes and we have to be strong and continue to nurture this love so this is the energy of this mother with a child which is also about what you're heading towards some of you in the future in the divine masculine message today he's thinking about the future having a family with you growing old with you being with you sharing your life together he thinks about you as the mother or the father of his kids he thinks about you having that type of relationship together where you don't just have a life together you build a life you create life you make things happen so this is allowing you to see the future because that's what you're headed for but to not be in fear about when or how or if things are going to happen because the little tree man here or this kind of dark energy i'm seeing there as the ego 
that can try and knock us off our path and create fear and blame and struggle. And we have to remain strong and balanced and know our power and know our truth and remember who we are with, you know, this energy of justice and karmic situations being healed and things moving forward. So we've got this powerful balance energy here connected with Libra, they're giving me two, but this is about movement and change, balance, knowing that your journey needs to be in equal balance, and that's what I'm seeing here, I'm seeing this as divine feminine, and the divine masculine energy is merging into one, and twining into one to bring you together, and here's the masculine, okay, so we've got the feminine energy, this is the journey, so we've got the energy of the connection, the world is in your hands, what you do now how you feel about your journey now, the way you think about it, the words you speak have power to create your future. So the message for the feminine is the world is in your hands. Think about what you want to bring about and believe in it. You know, don't use words of blame or shame or, you know, guilt or going over the past. Be in the now and think positive about this journey because you create your life. Don't let the ego bring in those fears. You're building something. You're giving birth to your dreams. You're nurturing this connection the way a mother nurtures a child. And this is also about remembering. Before I go into the masculine energy here, which is still in the journey cards, we've got the masculine energy separate, but we've got the masculine there, you see. So this is about not letting anything affect your vibration and continuing to nurture the love, remembering that in this journey sometimes, you divine feminine are the adult, you're the spiritual warrior, you see things much clearer than they do, because they are the child or the teenager that takes a while to grasp it, or understand it, or even to see, and that's why they can run and be silent, because they can act like a teenager, you know, we run from things we don't understand. If we don't like something, they run and they slam the door and hide out in the room. Whereas the adult, the mother, wants to talk and heal it and clear the air. So we have to be patient. So this is also a message about being patient and being patient with yourself as you overcome the ego and the fear, knowing that you are one and you are entwined in love and this is about bringing balance in so you can give to your twin and receive from your twin in equal measure so that it's not all one-sided and it doesn't feel hard or soul-destroying or soul-crushing because we're constantly over-giving. This is about bringing in equal balance because that's how it's meant to be. So again, this is a big message and a big sign here about moving towards union heading for the future to bring in that equilibrium and that balance and harmony and that shift and change. So we've got the masculine here dreaming. So I love this because he's showing you his dreaming. And this is the four of swords, which is about reflection and going over things and healing. And there's a lot going on in his mind. So when he's dreaming, he's dreaming of you, you know, and you're there in his mind. I'm seeing those three energies as you, okay? And they're giving me also pain in the eyes, you know, this is about his life he's dealing with, so this could also be people around him, you know, these could be, and these are female energies, so what this is, is showing you, you know, regardless of whether your divine masculine is a man or a woman, these are people that they are dealing with in their life, so you're all around him, because I'm seeing these three people as you, okay, you all different sides of you, everything he loves about you, you're constantly on his mind. It's like, I don't know if you've seen that film, Being John Malkovich. So it's an old one, but he is everywhere. You know, John Malkovich is everywhere. He sees himself everywhere. So what I'm seeing is he sees you everywhere, Divine Feminine, in the person serving him in the shop, the, you know, the person he's talking to at work, someone he may be watching on YouTube or in a film or a show, you know, he sees you everywhere, when he looks in the mirror, he sees you looking back, so he sees you, and he's trying to process all of that, so he's doing a lot of healing and processing and purging in dreams, and this really resonates, because the other night I shared that Archangel Raphael short video, and it was, you know, good night's sleep, so I feel he may be having very heavy dreams right now, heavy sleep, since the full moon with the lucid energy and the lucid dreams coming in. 
but he's definitely healing all of this connected with you. You're connecting in dreams, you're coming together, but he's also working out other things. So his karmic partner could be creeping into his dreams and, you know, his family, if he's got a very strong mother in his life or a sister or a friendship with someone. So he's dealing with this. He's dealing with this energy. These people are coming into his dreams to allow him to make changes because he's heady for the future. So if he's silent today, if he's a bit distant or quiet, let him have that time. I do feel he's tired. He's feeling a bit drained. He wants to sleep. He's lethargic. You know, he wants to lie down and dream because when he's dreaming, he's dreaming about you and he feels safe there. He feels content there. He feels happy there. You know, I feel he's also smelling your scent. You know, they're showing me that. It's like he's smelling in or drinking in the sheet there. So this is about smelling you. You know, your perfume, your aftershave, your unique scent. You know, he's smelling you. He's also dreaming about being intimate with you and your unique scent, your smell. You know, this is kind of like what we do when we've made love with our twin. We may smell them in the sheets and it's the same energy. You know, the other night I had a little power nap and I got in bed. It was early. I only just had half an hour sleep and I could smell George in the sheets, in the duvet when I pulled it up and on the pillow. And it was just really kind of comforty and relaxing. And it was just, mm, you know, it made me feel content and satisfied. And that's how he feels when he's connecting with you. So he may be when he's sleeping, you know, holding the sheet or his pillow because he's visualizing in his dream that that's you. He's taking you in. We've got, wow, I mean, this is powerful energy because you're rising above anything that's knocking you down. And this is the five of swords. But I'm reading this intuitively. All these cards, I read them intuitively. So what I'm seeing here is rising above struggle, rising above fear. And this is a card of victory and power and the angels being all around you, helping you, guiding you, keeping you strong. This is your power. Nothing's going to drag you down, Divine Feminine. You know, people can try and drag you down. People can try and knock you down, stop you from moving forward, bring you in pain. But you are stronger than that. You are bigger than any trigger tougher than any challenge and stronger than anything that you face and you've been shown that and sometimes your light blinds others people don't understand why you are the way you are but that doesn't matter that's none of your business keep being you and be grateful for everything gratitude and I feel your masculine today in dreams is also thanking you for loving that thank you for loving me thank you for being there for me Thank you for always believing in me. Thank you for being there when no one else can be there. In dreams, in the night, in the mind. Because he's grateful for you. And he appreciates everything you've ever done for him. He appreciates you. And this is you using gratitude to buoy your faith and bring power in. So gratitude is the best attitude, especially to bring you together. So you are coming together right now. You're moving forward together. Your dreams are coming true. Even if there's chaos. The chaos is this energy that's coming in on Tuesday with this 22222 energy. It's powerful. It's about the universe working for you, working with you. The universe having your back. Chaos leads to change. So be grateful for everything that's happening. He's releasing his addictions. And this is also powerful because, you know, I felt like on Valentine's, he may have been involved in his addictions. He may have drank too much alcohol. You know, he may have tried to numb the pain because he wasn't able to be with you and he wants to be with you. He's headed for that future with you. And these are things that are being released so that you can come together. He wants to be with you. But he doesn't want to be addicted to you. He doesn't want to be addicted to something else. And you don't need to be addicted to him because you are one. You are one. You know, you don't need your twin flame to make you feel better about your life because you have that power. The masculines, when they are ready for union with you, enhance your life. You know, me and George coming together, we enhance each other's lives. We don't need each other to be happy because we are we are one anyway but we are in that power and you're gaining clarity releasing worry 
So this is really powerful because it's showing you everything's bringing you together. Look at this. We've got union and coming together. But on the flip side of that, we've got worry, chaos and fear. And fear is a false experience appearing to be real. So these are all the things we are overcoming. And what I'm seeing here in this card is the masculines are definitely releasing all of their fears and all of their struggles and everything they need to shift and change through dreams. I feel dreams are super powerful. Some of the masculines may be meditating. They may be cleansing themselves in that way. But most of the masculines are dreaming about you. And those dreams are going to come true. Those dreams of union, the future, coming together, all the happiness that you want. Okay, this is what they are dreaming about right now. This is the future they are visualizing. And that really resonates with today's Divine Masculine reading. So if you haven't already, go and watch that. But this is where he is. He's dreaming about you. He's thinking about you. He's visualizing you. And he's also releasing fear around your union and your dreams coming true by, you know, dealing with things he needs to deal with in his physical world. So he may be having a conversation in his dream with a karmic partner or with his boss or with that family member to make that change so that the worry can be released. You know, he may be dealing with some fears around addiction in his dream, healing those addictions. And that can seem like chaos. And he's grateful for this. The world is in your hands. So clarity coming in to move everything forward in 2022. So for the feminine then, we've got intuition. Now this is beautiful because again, we've got the energy of the wolf and we had the fox coming up too. So the fox is about those solutions and decisions. What does the fox say? And the wolf is about tapping in with your psychic side and your awareness and your intuition. So this is about te telepathy, telepathic communication. What they're showing me and guiding me to, and it made me stop then, was this leaf blowing around in the wind. So again, this is about wind and change and the stormy weather and things moving where they're meant to be. We've got traps. So if you feel trapped, divine feminine right now or stuck or, you know, scared or worried about anything, it's because it's in the mind. We're only trapped in the mind with the illusion and the struggle, you know, and all the pain. It's in our mind. We release that. We feel at peace. We release that. We feel better. We can move out of that cage and there will be eventual positive outcomes. So you're getting a thumbs up from the universe. And Archangel Michael yesterday said, the situation is already resolved. Don't you worry, child, because heaven's got a plan for you. Swedish house mafia. So there's eventual positive outcomes. So even if you feel trapped or stuck, or you feel that your masculine is trapped or stuck, trust your intuition. Trust the way you feel, which is always real, because no matter what's going on, you will have what you desire there'll be eventual positive outcome so the thumbs up from the universe is saying addictions are being healed union is coming because you are coming together you are overcoming the ego and the fears because you deserve the world so be grateful now even if there's chaos release the fear because your dreams are coming true and if you've got time to worry you've got time to break and the masculines are dreaming of this, dreaming of you. You hold the world in your hands and that's giving you clarity to move ahead, to bring balance in, to release the ego. Very powerful energy here. So for the feminine, wow, rising up. I mean, this is beautiful. You know, you're rising up. And this is the, this is the Knight of Cups energy, but they're showing me this as a Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is about your union and your love and everything happening. So you're rising up. So this is ascension. The feminine going through ascension and not allowing any fears to hold you back. You are rising up. So you are raising your vibration. You're overcoming the drama and the fear and the struggle and the worry and the doubt. And you're ascending. So you may be feeling, and you know, what I'm actually being shown as well in this is, this here, they show me it's a 2-2. Two -two. And it isn't that, but that's what they show me intuitively as, 22 as in this year of 2022 the energy flowing in on tuesday and the fact that things are changing that you are a warrior of your life so you may be feeling acid reflux or indigestion or pain 
around the heart, the esophagus area, all this area here. See where it's all illuminated? Can you see that? All the chest area. These are these are fears being released and it's moving out of you. And the energy around the head, we've got these beautiful kind of stars around the head here. I feel that this could also be disorientation. You know, when you, someone bangs their head in a cartoon, they have birds flying around the head and they make that tweeting noise. So this could also be disorientation. You may be feeling nausea today. You may be having head pressure, headaches, feeling dizzy because you are being guided to raise your vibration and, you know, you're ascending to the next level of your journey. You're moving forward. So that's what's coming in with this 22, 22 energy. It's coming in on Tuesday. It's bringing in a powerful ascension. So between now and then, you could be feeling crazy ascension symptoms. So again, don't let it get you down. Call on the angels and trust your intuition. And we've got the Ten of Swords moving out of the dark times. You know, we've got this deserted desert island here. And this is about when we feel lonely and when we feel afraid and sad and we feel like nobody can help, but they can. The angels are saying to you, no matter how desolate things look now, no matter what's happening, there will be eventual positive outcome. Look at the good in this journey. When you have the a faith, the small amount of faith like a mustard seed, you can move a huge mountain in your life. And this is the ocean and the sand. So this is showing you that that sandy beach, that beauty is still there no matter what struggles seem to be in the way. So this is reminding you that you are at the end of a tough cycle. Changes are coming in. And, you know, look at this for powerful with the nine of swords. What I'm seeing with this is, you know, people approaching you, your masculine approaching you, even if you feel that they have a heart of stone or they've been cool or cold, or, you know, things haven't moved forward. The angels are asking you to put your claws away, to release the past to forgive. So this journey, sometimes it can make us pained. It can make us bitter. It can make us resentful. It can cause blackness around our heart and pain. They're giving me again pain in the eyes, like tears wanting to come out, struggle. And we have to release that. So this is a card of forgiveness a card of healing, a card of movement, because I'm feeling these as masculines moving towards the feminine, but the feminine has to be open and honest and loving and kind and ready for the masculine to come back, so you need to put your claws away, they really show me that there, claw energy, you know, when we want to lash out, we want to bring up the past, we want apologies, and in spiritual truth, it's already given, so when your masculine returns to you, and he will, put those claws away. Be open-hearted, open your arms to receive instead of being defensive and in pain. And we've also got this energy of movement where, you know, judgment, fear, struggle, don't judge the masculine. This can also be the feminines judging the divine masculine. And that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing collective feminine energy. And they give me fear to release this, judging the divine masculine. This is when feminines come together and you know kind of flock together to you know shout at the masculines and bring in pain and fear i've seen it in the comments section not necessarily here i see it here sometimes but on other channels because people get attracted to that kind of energy wanting to you know shout and scream and you know get the pain out so we have to release all of this blame and shame and pain towards our twin, how they handle the journey, the things they do. And we have to uplift each other and band together in joy and power instead of negativity or fear. So don't judge the masculine. And that came up yesterday. You know, judgment, the feminine releasing judgment. Trust your judgment, but release blame and put those claws away. And don't be dragged into drama or negativity or fear or people who've got a certain view of your situation because you know your truth. If you believe in this love, then the things will happen. You know, if you're holding on to struggle and pain, then that's what you're going to be bringing in. So there's power flowing in. So for the masculine, we've got creativity. So they are getting very creative right now in their vision their vision of you, their vision of what they desire. 
of where they're going. And they are becoming the magician because they are creating and manifesting. So in their dreams right now, you know, this is what the masculines are doing. The masculines are dreaming of the divine feminine. They're becoming very creative in their dreams with the future that they want to create with you. They're creating and manifesting in dreams. So they are bringing in what they want and they are tuned into their higher calling. So in dreams, there's a lot of power going on. You know, in the silence right now, there's a lot of power coming in because they are listening to their higher calling about their mission, their purpose and their life, not just with you, but their creativity, things they want to create in their life, things they want to manifest, things they want to make happen. And they're moving out of the darkness. So this is the energy where they feel very alone. They can be going within. You know, they're afraid as well. Definitely they're afraid of walking away from children if they've got kids in their situation. You know, they don't want their children to judge them or, you know, be lost without them or be in pain. So he is feeling all of this fear about leaving behind the past. And he's also handling that in his dream. Now, if he hasn't got children, this is him dealing with his inner child. And that's also connected with fears and insecurities about the future and what will happen and moving into the unknown. But he also knows it's part of his higher calling. And this is him moving towards you with power. You know, and the angels are blessing him right now. He's surrendering. He wants to go on his knees and, you know, have this love. So I feel this is also, he's apologizing to you in his dreams. And he's showing you in his dreams how much he cares. And he feels that you're this angel. And we've got white flowers down here as well. So white flowers are about forgiveness. So if you see white flowers, whatever they may be, it's a huge sign of waving the white flag coming towards you. And again, they're giving me pain, pain in the in the eye, like tears need to come out. So I am feeling two types of tears. I'm feeling gratitude and love and strength and understanding. But I'm also feeling this need to express, express the pain and the loneliness sometimes. And the, the angels are helping your twin to see, to gain clarity. So I'm seeing this angel here, like Archangel Uriel for illumination and Archangel Honiel bringing in clarity and strength. And they've given me a number I want to share with you too. And I was seeing this number all day yesterday. And this was the number 214. I was seeing this all day. And then I was watching something last night and the number was in there and two people were having a conversation and they said this, we have to figure it out for both of our sakes. We have to figure it out. So we have to give our twin time to figure it out and we have to give ourselves time to figure out what we are going through too. So I want to read you this number. So 214, we've got twos, ones and fours. So the twos are about the universal power, the ones are about the new beginning, and the fours are about angel protection. So I'm going to use angel numbers by Cal Gray to give you this message. Very quick, it says, your relationship with angels is stronger than ever. Your relationship with the angels is stronger than ever. So the masculines are listening, they're receiving a higher calling, they're being healed and given peace in dreams. And they have been shown that if they move towards you, it will be okay. It will be okay if they leave their family or their children. It will be okay. Everyone be, it will be okay. So your connection with angels is stronger than ever. And the angels are helping both of you to figure this out. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.